Hello everyone, I'm Venrith and we're back in the coldness of Frostpunk. So, let's uh, see how far we're going to get today. There is already a decision to be made, so it is the search for steam cores. Captain, we've run out of steam cores. We know there are some industrial ruins into the north and south. We might find steam cores there. Okay. I will do that uh, when my scouts are back. They're not back yet. Uh, I think I'm going to have to turn these on, aren't I? Because it's a bit too chilly in there. So, let's put that on. On. And then the one over here. on that should warm them back up just lovely hopefully <laughs> right employ at least two automatons in the coal industry yeah we need a coal thingamabobs don't we oh add new booster let's do this quickly while we've got the boost still on um automaton scouts <gasps> useful I'm gonna do that mm-hmm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. trying to remember where I was now and at least one automaton in the raw food industry unfortunately we've got none available at the minute do I have to put that on as well it's about to get very 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 cold in a minute Coal is doing okay-ish. I could do with more though. Hmm. How are we doing here? Cookouts, we've got only one more food. So let's put more on hot house. Let's get some more real food. I think that's very important. put some more people on the medical post as well lovely jubbly so we've got enough turns medical post cookhouse hot house uh, we do have a coal mine that we can build that is handy i think it's gonna have to go there isn't it i can't see any other coal around on the map at the minute it's gonna have to go there. Beautiful. Get that building. What oh, we've got uh, scouts waiting. Right, a distinct spot in the frostland. We can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value. Great. But we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Okay. All oh, supply depot. What have we already got? I can't remember now. I can't remember whether we picked stuff up or not with these. I think we did. I think we went lost dreadnought and then the wind swept. I think. Uh, I might get to supply depot. Why not? Let's risk it. We need some more Time to uh, steam cores. Works out today. Production Q empty. Yes, that's right. Uh, so what I might do is just. I'll leave it on, but I think I'm just going to unemploy everyone because there's no point. Can't make anything there at the minute. Might as well put them on research or something. Something important. Okay. More sick beds needed. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. They're asking you to address the problem. I will open a medical post. I promise the sick will be treated. I won't address this right now. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna go four. Uh, the problem with the sick being treated one is, yeah, it's. A... Hmm. You know what? I might just open a new one because it's quite easy. I'll just go medical post and. I'll have to find somewhere to plonk it. I'll plonk it, uh There. Completely random place. Don't really care about it. But we'll do that. I'm sure I saw some interesting in there earlier. Maybe not. Steel works we've got, haven't we? Yes. So at least we're getting some steel uh, sawmill. Do we not have a steel works yet? Yes, we do. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. So we've got wood and steel coming in. That's not a problem. speed the game up a bit because we're kind of just waiting for stuff at the minute I have to put someone in that medical post let me equip it with one person oh it wants does it want two does it want two um oh damn it annoying fine you can have your second medical post i'll just demolish it later question mark first amputation to save this patient's life we had to perform an amputation as a result this person won't be able to work we can consider signing the care house or possessive law or i can just be like Neh. um yeah let's do something about it so we can't do care house. Uh, gravely ill or kept alive, care house is no longer burning medical posts. Residents of the care house are hit off much, hope we're slightly. Um, or we can't do the prosthetics. We have to go through his care house. Fair enough, I'll sign it. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Let's build a care house. Get care in the community. There we go. Wonderful. That's moaning about temperature, but yeah. Wrap up well. Oh, here it comes. Look at that minus sixty. Okay. Let's explore. Searching the shack, we have found plenty of valuable supplies. 160 wood and 35 food. Nice. So, I am thinking we'll go back to the city, drop all the supplies off, and then we'll go south past the Misty Valley, I think. Something like that. Hmm, I wonder if I could deploy a new unit. Uh, and that's how you tell what it's collected. Ah, uh, cool. Certainly five engineers. Yeah. Kind of don't have enough people. Well, these are very cold. As I think you see, the temperature is just ugh, brutal. So, in order to counteract that, and I can't do it on this, uh, I need to boost, boost it. I can put it in overdrive. There we go. That's going to burn a lot more coal. So what we've got to do now is keep an eye on the stress level. So this is the uh, generator stress level. Uh, if this goes all the way to here, boom, that blows up. 
So you've got to make sure that you keep an eye on it and turn it off before it gets too high. But what it does do is it provides a bit more of a boost for heat. So that's great. What? Why is it saying open a new medical post? Zero out of three. What is going on here? Yeah, got some in the care house. Why is that not ticking off? What am I missing? Losing a limb. One of our people have had to go undergo an amputation. Working in the freezing cold has left him with such severe frostbite there was no other choice. Uh, we must do something. Oh, I see. Um, I don't think I can do another law yet. No, I can't. So I'll click I see. Uh, Stuck automaton. Sir, an automaton has entangled itself hopelessly in its assigned building. We can't free it without at least partially dismantling one or the other. And that means shut it down is the automaton not building. So we can shut down the automaton for 12 hours. Or we can shut down the gathering post for 12 hours. Uh, let's do the automaton. Because the gathering post can still work and collect some. Is that automaton not doing that? Why is that automaton not picking that up? Sometimes I really do wonder. Maybe it's going back for a charge. Why is that? Why is that not being heated? Oh my word. Oh, I almost lost that arc then. I forgot about that one. Oh, almost. Serious accident. Sir, there's been an accident. An automaton has stepped on a man, crushing his leg and crippling him for life. People argue that automaton should walk more slowly and carefully. Uh, we can slow uh, them down. Or we can say, can't afford it. I'm going to go, can't afford it. I really cannot afford it. At least it's going to warm up in a bit. So yeah, it's going to be horribly wrong at the minute. I don't understand why that's now saying open a new medical post. Zero out of three. I'm not opening more. Let's try it. See what happens. I'm just going to demolish it afterwards. I don't care. The night is coming. Put down your tools. Well, that's put some heating on there as well. Open the medical post one. Ah, maybe because it's too chilly. Maybe because it's too chilly. That's what it is, isn't it? There we go. Right, okay. Um, where, do, where was I building that? Uh, delete. Uh, delete. I don't want it. Now what's happened to my other automatons? Why is that one idle? I can't put it anywhere. Hmm. Interesting. All oh, discontent. Or oh, got to keep an eye on that one.
That must be the broken one, isn't it? Ah, I guess that's a broken one, isn't it? I remember now. Oh, 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 crap. Turn off overdrive, I've run out of coal. That's the problem. Okay, uh, that's turned off. Yeah, we've run out of coal. We need coal. Like, yesterday. Oh, there's no Tom Tom that can go in the coal mine. That's what we want. Right, give me some coal, like, today. It's all going horribly wrong. Look at that, I'm running out of food. Can I reboot it? Yes. There we go. A figure in the distance. Sir, we have noticed something in the distance. A small black dot in the white desert moving slowly towards us. It's possible it might be a survivor. Ooh, interesting. So that stress level is coming down. That is good. Might have some more survivors coming. 20 hours, that's good. That is very good, actually. A letter of thanks. Sir, an engineer is here to see you. He has a letter to you from his team. My workers asked me to deliver this. They're plain people, so it reads like bad poetry. But well, here's the gist of it. They want to thank you, sir. The sight of this automaton working tirelessly in the in, in, bleh, inhuman cold where previously they toiled and suffered is something worth living for. Ah, I hope we'll rise slightly. Perfect. Right, things I need. Mm, food was sort of okay. -ish. Automaton working in the food industry next. Scouts unit number one's returned safely to the city, bringing food and wood. That's nice. Right. Get your ass back out there. Uh, let's bring the survivors to the city. I think that's a good idea. More people would be very useful right now. Now, why is that inoperative? No resources in range. Interesting. Okay, right. In that case, uh, we want to dismantle that and then build another one. So we want a sawmill and we want it up here. Beautiful. Research. I keep forgetting about research. So, sawmill upgrade. Hmm, interesting. Charcoal kiln. Hmm. Wall drill. Drills into the walls of our crater, uncovering trees that once formed a forest before the ice engulfed them. Interesting, but it. Does require a steam cooler to build that. Um, medical post upgrade. That might be useful. I think I might go for medical post upgrade. And now I need to employ some engineers. Which, of course, they're all working. Let's put one in there. This is why I need more people. Why did that make the noise of something important? It's 
Scout stuff returns safely to city. And have bought one worker. Yay. Cry for help. Sir, an exhausted man has just reached our city, badly frostbitten and with a harrowing story to tell. He says he's come from a nearby city called New Manchester. It's inhabited mostly by workers and their families, but their resources are running out and they're in trouble. Fearing the coming storm, they sent a scout in to look for help. He is the sole survivor. He begs us to help his people. We must find out more. Get out Frostland and find New Manchester before the storm. Oh, do we have to find Manchester? Okay. So I need to do our oh, expedition camp might be ours. Nice. Um Right, so they're just gonna make me carry on, aren't they? Expedition camp is Tempting. Scout Frostland. Which one's Frostland? Doesn't say. Uh, let's go South Pass. I wonder if we can create a new unit. No, we still need some people. Saving the message up. Captain, the man who has arrived from New Manchester is in critical condition. If he doesn't get help right away, he'll die. He could be our only chance to learn more about the other city. Well, good job we've got way too many medical posts then, isn't it? So we've got... I know we've got one worker, but he's ill. Okay, put the automaton back on there, would. Lovely jubbly. We seriously need more coal, won't we? We are not producing enough. Hmm. People helping at what cost, sir? Some of our people are restless. They argue with the storm closing in. We won't be able to succeed in our mission and help near Manchester at the same time. They tell, they understand that it's a difficult decision, but they want to know what your priorities when we have to choose. We can't abandon people in need, or I won't endanger our mission. Hope will fall, or discontent will rise. Well, that's exactly the same thing. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it as. Let's say, ooh, that's not good. It's not good. I think I've got 12 days to do that, bloody hell. I need people. I need people big time. Um. Floors, anything interesting? Prosthetics. Let's do prosthetics. Me, what we can do. New law in the city. Let's make five. Actually, let's make. I'm going to stack it up. I'm going to make twenty. That way, we, what we can do is get some of our people that are going. I'm. Um, I haven't got a leg. I can't work. Give me some free food, please. And we can make them have a peg leg, and we can make them. Go back to work. Dun, 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 dun. I really need. So I need more work, as you say. Picking up this coal. Go rest all who can. No, don't go and rest. It is off. It is off. It is off. It's off. Good. 
And now what? Urgent need for treatment. Captain, our people have gathered to protest. The number of untreated sick keeps rising, but you seem to ignore the problem. I'm not opening another bloody medical post. Uh, sick will be treated. There we go. Now let's hope we can do that. <laughs> oh, no, don't, don't go up. Oh, bloody hell. The numbers going up, that is not good. Uh, it's a shame automatons can't heal people. Oh, wait. They can. Say what? Um, I think I just actually activated something for this, didn't I? Uh, automaton off. Automaton on. Yes. Heal, my pretty. Heal. It's ten ill now. Yeah, that's that's taking care of them. Oh dear lord. Uh, right. Okay, we can explore. Traversing the narrow pass while avoiding falling rocks and small avalanches was perilous, but we managed to get through. The observations made from the pass revealed several sites in the area worth exploring. Frozen pond or cracked ice. Lovely. Um, cracked ice, that sounds, yeah, go and walk on that. Uh, frozen pond right there. Okay, I'm going to go the other way now and I'm going to go to Misty Valley. Or do I have to go extra Misty Valley? Expedition camp due to the uh, yellow dot. Actually, I just thought of that. Um. Oh crap! Yeah, it was. My bad. Um, scouts. Go there. Like now. Thank you. Oh dear. Back to my failing ways. Do, 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 do. Uh, frightened patient one of our people is facing death but he's still refusing amputation he keeps screaming that he doesn't want anyone to touch his leg and that he won't change his mind even though gangrene will kill him in a matter of, matter of hours uh, cut off his leg yes Healthcare promise fulfilled. Yay, hope rises. See, I'm, not, I'm such a nice caring leader, you know, just chop off the legs. Freezing homes. Captain, people are protesting again. Right, heat some homes. Or let's heat all homes. Uh, I'm going to go for heat. All homes. And then this might be a really bad idea. Let me just check this. I thought I started medical post upgrade. Mm. Overdrive. Actually, that is a really bad idea. Actually, I've just realised our oh, farm is broken. Damn it. I thought with the massive drop in temperature coming, I'll wait. And then I've got. Ah. Damn it. Yeah, it's not going too well tonight. Uh, let's see. A messenger. The messenger lives. Captain, we have saved the life of the survivor of New Manchester. He's thankful, even though we've had to amputate his arm. Thank you. If I was in New Manchester, I'd have died. We don't have. That's not how Manchester Mercurians sound. Uh, ah. uh, we don't have <laughs> the means to save victims of frostbite. His city seems to be dangerously undeveloped. 
Oh, I see. Right, it's going to get cold and then cold before being slightly less cold, but still cold. We need more coal as well, big time. Brace yourselves. Cold is coming. I wonder if it might work better if I take them off later, take the automaton off later, put the workers on the thumb part, and then put the automaton on the gatherer. Get going. Because then they can red. gather all, all the time. I can take a few people off that, like so. Um, what now? No to thanks. Oh, okay then. Is me automatically thinking it's going to be something negative, you know? A note of thanks. Someone has left a note at the care house. It reads, thank you. With all the work we have to do, it's so hard for families to properly take care uh, of an invalid. Places like this uh, make life a little easier for us all. How nice. How nice. Lovely. Five amputees. Three being treated to in palliative care. Okay. See, coal's going up now. I think that was the right choice. That was definitely the right choice. Uh, we have some people available. So I'm going to pull one on there, like so. Then... Too cold. It's too chilly. It's too chilly. Dude. Let's put some heating on then. Let's put some heating on. Okay, these are cooling down. So I'm going to have to make sure I put some heat on these. Very soon. I'll do that now so I do not forget because I know what will happen I will forget and then horrible things will happen how is that still going down is that building that's going down yeah okay waiting let's explore fallen heroes we found the bodies of the other New Manchester expedition members. Their supplies were completely insufficient for this weather. That one of them managed to reach our city from here beckons beggars belief. Beggars belief it does. Uh, but we've discovered broken vehicle. Cool. So, broken vehicle it is. I wonder where's to equip more scouts or not. Get more supplies then. I might just do it. Bad idea right now, but we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go correct ice while we can. And then we'll go to Frozen Pond. He's betting that they're going to fall through the cracked ice. You know it. I know it. The game knows it. But we'll do it anyway. For reasons. A note of thanks. A note was left for the doctor who performed the amputation on the frightened patient. It reads, thank you. I was in terrible pain and it blinded by fear and my choice would have doomed me. Doomed. I may be without a limb now, but I'll live. Ah, but you will soon be with a peg leg. That's okay too. I call you Mr. Silver, I will. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so everyone's going off. Everyone's doing something nice and lovely. Uh, what's going to go wrong from here? I don't really know. But what I do know is that's going to be the end of the episode for today. 
thank you for watching everyone i've been very and i'll catch you next time